Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how we can create user using Firebase and Vue.js. So here is our sign up form. Create a new account. You write your name, email, and password. And when you press sign up, it should save all the data in the Firebase console. So all your user will be saved in the authentication tab here. You will have a list of all your users here. For now, we don't have any. So let's start. If I come to my application, here is the login component we have. In the login component, we have here is the tab for the creating new account we have name we have email and we have password so we must be able to take this data from user and then we register them so to do that we use v model so for this one also we write v model and this is going to be for name for the email also we say v model is going to be for email and for password also v model password now whenever you write them you must have a data in your export here so I will put a comma we have data and data should be a function and this function should return an object this is common in Vue.js that you should know and now this object is going to contain name which is equal to the name any any name user right here for now we will write it as a null which is empty oops comma and then you have email which refers to the above email this is also going to be null which is empty and then password now anytime user enter something it is going to store all of those information here now we can take this information and we can store it in the firebase so if i save it for now we have imported firebase so what you can do is you can put a comma here and for the methods you can write all your method here how you write the method we have a sign up button here so whenever someone click on the sign up let's say at click button here an event and you just give it a function name or register you can name anything so I will come in the method uh, section and I say register function we have here so register function is going to register us to the firebase console so this function will be uh, fire whenever someone click on this one so how you can register your uh, information in the firebase if i if you go to the firebase documentation they have a function called create user with email and password this is that that much basic so they have a lot of uh, validation also if the the email is already in use stuff like that so how you can use this one here is the function you can use if you copy this code the same thing is in the documentation that I show you. They, are, they also use the same thing, but they have uh, customized a little bit. For now, we will use the same code, but later we will customize it. Because for them, it is not going to save the name field here. You have a name here. You have email and password. It will save only email and password. How about the name of the user? So we will do that in the future videos. For now, I will just paste the code in the register function here. How it work it is going to use the firebase variable that we have here and it is going to use the auth function and it will run the create user with email and password they put email and password which email and password this is this that email oops this that email which refer to this email and the password should be also this that password and it will automatically uh, hash the password in the backend. So for now if I save it, let's see if it works just fine and We say that if you catch any error just display the error otherwise don't do anything So it is not doing anything if it does not give us an error. So for now They don't have any then so let's try it if I refresh the page here to get everything And I will open the console also to see if we get any error for now we don't have any getting a start going to the sign up someone click on this one let's say this is john john at me.com and then you come and write a password p-a-s-s-1-2-3 -S click on the sign up you get an error if i click on this one they have cannot read property of auth and define if i come all the way down here they cannot read this one while we have imported firebase why it is not working 
So here is the issue. If you face the same problem that you get the error of auth is not undefined, you should understand we are using like ES6 here. And whenever you import something, you have to export it from the other file. Here, in the firebase.js, we didn't export anything. You imported here firebase, but you didn't export it. So how you do that one? We say export fb anything you can say we say fb or firebase just a name and then you say export it should be a constant and this is how it works you export fb variable from this file and then whenever you use this any other file you import it and you give it the same name fb and of course whenever you export that you have to put it inside the bracket so you might have different export in this file export and import are very important i will create another video and i will explain everything about export and import because when you say export and if i come here you have export default what is the difference between them so i will explain that now so in later video we might discuss about something else whenever you say export default you if you import it somewhere else you don't have to write the bracket you just write fb and export default is only from one file it means this file is exporting only one thing which is login component and this file can this file the view uh, the login that view cannot uh, export any other thing that's why we use export default but in the firebase you can export multiple things let's say you have another say fs for firestore later we'll use the firestore and then later if someone import that one they can use in the bracket let's say they can use fb comma fs comma whatever they want because from this file we have exported many things i didn't put any default value here if you put default that file is going to export only one thing that's why because in this in the firebase we export many things in the future video we just write export const fb and it will export uh, firebase for now for us and then we can import it here i will remove this one and this is how it work for now and it should work just fine if i come to my application for now no error except the warning you get here if you see this warning this is because we import firebase like this if you're writing import uh, firebase you do not write any services they have different services you have import like firebase auth firebase app firebase database firestore fire firebase function whenever you use the firebase and you know which services you use you have to pick that service otherwise it is going to uh, take all of the services to your file and it is bad for the performance for now because we will use multiple services we are we will stick with this one but for the production we will fix this issue and we will mention only the services we use on that file so i will save it for now this is fine for now and if i come here getting a start clicking on the sign up let's say this is john john at me.com and pss123 and if you click on the sign up it is going to give you again the same error firebase is not defined okay sorry if i come to login this time we do not have any firebase this time we have the fb variable so if i save it and refresh the page that was a little mistake so click on the getting start sign up again john john at me come and you please please click on the sign up and this time this, uh, uh, this is the warning like sign up is disabled so you have to en enable it in the authentication you come here and you go to the sign up method tab here and you have different types of services which are disabled for now email and password disable google disable facebook twitter disable you click on this one enable and then you click save and we have a password list sign up also which we will talk later for now i will save it and once you save it now it is enabled this time it should work just fine you refresh the page again let's see if we have the data i think they send that again you go to the users it should 
list the users here for for now again i will come to the sign up john i hope this is the last try at me.com and then sign up oops didn't click on the sign up click sign up if you get no error you come to the firebase here and you refresh the user table here you have the user here successfully registered this is not the password this is the id of the user we call uid you cannot see the password here but you can reset the password of course so this is the basic uh, registration for now it just remain here but it should redirect us to the admin page so that is what we do in here so whenever you question error displays error whenever you succeed you have to redirect us so whenever the authentication run it is going to be a promise method if you see the coach here it is going to say whenever you get the error what if, what if you succeed how you do how you handle the success so here is how you do that one you click here and then you say then this is of when this is a promise you have uh, access to then and then is going to say whenever you log in the user everything was successful you run this function oops okay let me explain here this is going to be the function which is the the old way of javascript so in es6 what you can do is instead of writing the word function just write the 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 parenthesis here and then you can write the arrow here and arrow is going to be the prompt or the the function of the, the area of the function like the bracket here so this is going to be uh, the same way as you write function and error for this one you don't have error you have user so you have access to the current user uh, inside then for now it is just fine but what i am going to do is i am going to redirect user to the admin so how you do that one you you have access to this dollar sign router dot replace and you can replace the the router url to the admin it is going to redirect you to the admin page here so now we have we are redirect here so if i come back to the application we have here in the home page i will create another user and let's see if it is going to redirect us or not so this is going to be gen gen at me.com and the password should be something sign up yeah it redirects us to the admin but everything is dark the darkness is because of the model it didn't hide i think you can handle how you can hide the model right using bootstrap for if you can't so we'll just continue watching the video if you go to bootstrap.com get bootstrap.com going to the documentation i don't remember exactly how it works if you go to the model so here you have the javascript that you can show and hide model so coming all the way down here is the hide model so there is how you can do that one you copy this and before you redirect make sure you hide our model so which is what is the model id the login so if i come all the way down here and i say login should be hidden so this is the going to be the last try and everything should work just fine you close this one and we register a user called admin at admin at me.com you click on the sign up yes everything works just fine you are in the admin directory so i hope it has been informative for you thank you for watching